So you're barreling down the interstate in an 18-wheeler, pulling 80,000 pounds of pure American freight, and then it happens. The gear slips. The RPMs jump. Your heart skips. Is it the clutch? The synchronizer? Or something worse? Today, we're diving deep into the Eaton Fuller 13-speed transmission, the legend of manual trucking. Built to take abuse and deliver performance, this gearbox has powered rigs across millions of miles. But even legends wear down, and when they do, you better know how to fix them before a minor issue becomes a major road hazard. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what makes the 13-speed tick, but you'll know exactly how to diagnose, repair, and maintain it like a seasoned pro. Trust me, you don't want to be that driver stuck in third gear climbing the Rockies. Now, let's shift into first. Most people think of the Eaton Fuller 13-speed as a beast to tame, and it is. But once you understand the logic behind its splitter and range sections, it becomes less of a wild animal and more like a well-trained pit bull. Loyal, powerful, but you need to know how to handle it. Quick refresher. This transmission has 13 forward speeds, arranged across a standard H pattern with a range selector and a splitter switch. Simple, right? Until something stops working. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before we talk repairs, let's answer the question. Why is this transmission so damn popular? Durability, flexibility, control. With a 13 speed, you're not just shifting, you're commanding. This box gives you precision in high torque situations, especially hauling up grades or navigating tight docks. But that complexity, it comes with a cost. Because when something fails, be it the splitter not engaging, the range valve sticking, or the synchros grinding, you're looking at real downtime and real dollars. So let's shift gears. What's the number one reason most 13 speeds end up in the shop? Driver error? Yep. Not mechanical failure. Not poor manufacturing. Just plain old human mistakes. Granny shifting. Improper floating. Double clutching too late. Or abusing the splitter under load. These mistakes don't show up right away, but they build up like pressure in a hydraulic line. Now here's a question for you. Ever tried diagnosing a splitter issue while idling at a truck stop with your toolbox in one hand and a lukewarm burrito in the other? Yeah, not fun. So here's your checklist when things start going south. Air supply. Is the range splitter getting full pressure? No air, no shift. Range valve. Sticky, slow, or leaking. Replace it. They're cheap and easy. Shift knob internals. The little parts that never get attention until they fail. Synchronizers. If it grinds every time you downshift, the synchro teeth might be toast. Clutch adjustment. A misadjusted clutch will cause the entire shifting pattern to feel off. Let's interrupt the doom and gloom for a second. Imagine trying to explain all this to a teenager who thinks a manual is just that weird stick thing. Exactly. Back to business. One of the most overlooked problems? Transmission oil. Not just changing it. Checking the right oil is in there. Eaton specs a specific non-synthetic 50-weight transmission fluid. Use the wrong one, and you could be inviting gear clash and premature wear. All right, we're in the final stretch. Here's your golden nugget. If your transmission won't shift ranges, don't assume it's internal. There's a small air line that runs up through the tower into the shift knob. If it cracks or pops off, boom, no high range, and you're chasing a ghost. Want a real cliffhanger? Next week's video, we're tearing down a 13 speed on the bench, every gear, every bearing, every tiny part. You'll see what actually fails and what shops charge you big bucks to fix that you could do yourself with a $20 tool. So before you give up and call a tow, remember, this transmission was built to be fixed on the road. You just need the knowledge. Hit subscribe. Drop a comment if your splitters ever ghosted you on a hill, and I'll see you in the next one, where we open the box and get our hands dirty. Until then, keep it between the lines and double clutch with purpose.